Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today, Microsoft released a new Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the dev channel. After updating, the build number will be 25136. This build is smaller, but has few new things introduced. First of all, File Explorer received a new update. With this build, File Explorer is introducing a refreshed layout of the left navigation pane, which makes it easy for you to navigate to folders that matter to you. The updated organization provides easy access to your pinned and frequently used folders, quick access, and your OneDrive Cloud profiles added to Windows. OneDrive Cloud profiles reflect the user's name associated with the account. Known Windows folders that are available by default in the navigation pane are no longer displayed onto this PC to keep that view focused on your PC's drives. When you navigate to folders sensing to OneDrive such as documents, pictures, etc., the address bar displays the correct path to help bring clarity when your folders are on the cloud versus when they are local to you. The second thing introduced to this build is dynamic widgets content on the taskbar. Microsoft is trying out some changes to bring more dynamic widgets content to the taskbar. In addition to seeing live content from the weather widget, you'll also start to see live updates from the sports and finance widgets, along with breaking news alerts. And lastly, Microsoft is beginning to roll out the ability for insiders to report animated GIFs they feel are inappropriate from the emoji panel. Besides these new things, there are some general fixes as usual. Microsoft addressed an issue that was leading to some PCs being erroneously detected as tablets. When this happened, compact mode and the option to hide checkboxes in File Explorer wouldn't take effect. Also fixed an issue causing some insiders to experience in system service exception bug check in recent dev channel builds. For the taskbar, fixed an issue that was sometimes causing taskbar apps to overflow with the system tray icons. Also, when you hover on an app in the system tray, its notification will no longer flash. For the start, fixed an issue that could cause start to only show one column of recommended items. Also, if you're pinning a large number of apps to start, it should now refresh to show them more reliably. For the settings, fix an issue from the previous flight where the disks and volumes section of system storage wasn't displaying any disks or volumes. For the windowing, Microsoft made a fix to help with the rare issue which was causing title bars to sometimes go transparent or missing sometimes in certain apps. For Windows Update, fix an issue where Windows Update might unexpectedly show errors 0x80s when there wasn't anything wrong. Also, fix an issue that was leading to some devices bug checking with hypervisor error when trying to upgrade to a new build. For the Task Manager, fix an issue that was causing Task Manager to crash on launch, sometimes after switching between light and dark mode or changing accent color. So, that's all for this build. This build also has some known issues. To more about this build, head to the official Microsoft blog. Link is in the description. So, that was it. Hope it was useful. Consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel, and if you have any question, just comment down below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day ahead.